<laughs> Delicious. Scrumptious. Mmm. 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 Hey, you. And I are taking a look at a TikTok food account today. Honestly, the food on this account is some of the best I've ever seen. It looks delicious. But nobody's there for the food. No, not even you. Because there's something else that's just as delicious on that TikTok account. Everybody meets Cedric Lorenzen. Even his name is like so suave. He's a suave TikTok chef who has taken the word food porn a little too literally. I'll explain. Look. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. We literally just got started, though. You know, I had a math teacher who would only point with his middle finger at the board. I don't know why, but this reminds me of <laughs> He would always point with his middle finger. You! You, what's the answer? So, what's the recipe for this one? Step one, suck on my middle finger. Oh my god, I feel violated. And this has like nothing to do with my body parts. So I don't think you're meant to taste his food. I think you're just meant to feel it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my lord. What was the <laughs> what was the dish? What was the dish though? Oh, is that just a recap of you fingering your fruit? <laughs> Cedric, I was expecting a dish. You're done. You're done. Hey. What was the color of the kitchen counter? <laughs> what was the color of the kitchen counter? Now, seriously now, we need a recipe, okay? Let's take a look at this one. Ooh. Like, what? he has a thing for his middle finger. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sorry. Oh, damn, man. Honestly? It's, it's kinky. <laughs> um, some people are into it, okay? This could be such a fun thing to do with your girlfriend or like your boyfriend, you know? To cook together, but seductively. Right? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just like, this is me manifesting me like this in the future. You're like, no, don't be like that. Shut up, we're just trying to have fun. Damn, it looks so good. Like, he's really good. You know what? This guy, he deserves to open his own restaurant. And then part of the meal serving process would be him licking the cream off your cake. <laughs> the way people would go. The way you would go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't give me that bullshit of... I can't, I, it's not... No, this is not what I like. No, I'm not into that dirty F-boy shit. I'm just quirky and I like to read books in a One Direction concert. No, but I would actually, it would be just kind of nasty if some random person licks cream off my cake. Oh. <laughs> okay. What about this? Oh! 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 <laughs> oh damn! Okay, this guy's like... You know, I was kind of in trance. I was kind of like... And then you spat. Was that an ingredient? Or was that so the stuffing goes in the turkey easier? Just use lube, dude. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't think I can say these. Oh my god. I don't know how to feel about this turkey. Oh my god. It does look good. It really actually does look good. Man, smack that turkey left, right, and center. If that turkey could say something, I think it would. Look at this dish. What is that? Why do you keep spitting? Like, honestly, listen, everything's fine. But whatever you're squirting out of your mouth, imagine going to a restaurant and asking his restaurant. You're like, hey, excuse me, sir. Sir, can I have a water, please? Sure. Or, hey, excuse me, can you like just clean the Hey, table? yes, right away. Thanks. Or, or maybe, hey, yeah, how was your meal? Yeah, the meal was fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, where's the bathroom? I just need to wash my hands real quick. Put it my out hands. hands. Actually, just what about my hands? There's a lot of ways to incorporate this into your restaurant, Cedric. Anyway, lemons. Mm, okay. Oh, he's making lemon pie. I love lemon pie. What the hell is?
was all this. Um, saliva is definitely an ingredient in all of this guy's recipes. Literally, imagine ordering a lemon tart and then the waiter or the chef just kneels down and licks it, <laughs> licks the top of it on your plate. No, no, what an experience. What was that? Something creamed. Okay, but the content is one thing. The caption is something else. Roses are red. Lemons are sour. Open your legs and let me devour. Hashtag wet TikTok. What the fuck is wet TikTok? <laughs> what? I love how it's like hashtag lemon tart, hashtag wet TikTok. What about this? Oh my god, this guy is a chef. Not the grapefruit. We need to. We need to raid this man's house and take out all the grapefruit from his fridge. No, we need to take out all the citrus fruits. If it's not a grapefruit, he'll find something else to finger. But the caption on this one is... Wait, are you alone right now? Hashtag wet TikTok. It's got nothing to do with the actual point of the video. Until you scroll a bit down and you see notes below. That's the recipe. <laughs> Deconstructed tiramisu with chocolate sorbet and pistachio lemon sponge cake. Notes? The idea was to make a glass house type inspired dessert. Cons. Isomalt is a bit too thick. Mm. Tastes 7 out of 10. Visuals 8 out of 10. There's an actual recipe in here, man. I am a bad boy. Oh my god. <laughs> Even the food came. Oh my god, how unnecessary. I <laughs> can't with this shit. You know what? If I could cook, I would have been doing this too. <laughs> You're lucky I don't. No, I wouldn't stick my fingers in anything like that. Absolutely not. Look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to me. It's supposed to be hot. It's actually very creative. That's some creative shit. Imagine smacking your dough like that. This is the epitome of I should call her. Look at that shit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that looks good. What was that? Are you drooling? Is it the food or is it something else? I had a naughty dream last night. Guess who was in it? Something tells me it was that turkey. Girl says, I can wash dishes if you want! <laughs> Here, Cedric says, it's not the only thing I can plunge. He's frustrated here. Okay, he's like, shirt off, shirt on. We can't decide. <laughs> he's so, f he's angry. Where is he gonna let out his frustration? On that thick piece of dough, of course. <laughs> oh my God. That was definitely not in the recipe, I guarantee. You. Like, I'm no chef, but I don't know if like that part is necessary for the dough because <laughs> someone's down bad. <laughs> hey man, how long has it been? Damn, okay, skills. Oh, a plunger. Is that a plunger? It's like when da daddy what? What's that say? Daddy chill. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna turn out so good. Pretty chill. No. Everything else. Actually, no. <laughs> None of it. That was a scene that was separately filmed. Okay. So you cooking, smacking, you know, throwing, but all of these are shots that you film. So what was the thought process behind a, a, a just a shot of you doing this in a cooking video? <laughs> all right. That's, that's like insane restaurant quality apple tart. That's insane. Hello ladies. It's nice to see you all here again for this meeting. <laughs> it's where everybody gets together, you know? It's Guy's Kitchen. Not for the food. Okay, so far it's like no- <laughs> I don't get this part! Is there- is there like a- is like- does anyone cook? 
here. Like, you know, like, whatever that was is, is part of the process. I don't think I've ever seen a baker, like, go down on the dough. Like, I don't think I've seen that happen. I would have, I would have noticed. <laughs> I think it's something you would notice. Good morning. Good morning to you. Oh, wow, these look lovely. Are they, are they fresh? Oh, of course. What are you doing? <laughs> It's so awkward. I think, I think like the first few times when I've seen it, I was like <gasps> shocked and like, oh my God, wow, there was a, he didn't, oh, that's crazy. Now that I've seen it time and time and time again, I just feel awkward. Ooh, he can juggle too. This man's, this man's, he juggle, he bake, he makes donuts. Mmm, these donuts. These are, these are so nice. See that glaze on that donut? See that glaze? Let me ask you a quick question. Do you want me to glaze your hole? <laughs> Shut the f*** up! Stop it. Stop it. We can't keep meeting like this, Severin. We can't keep meeting like this. People just scrolling through TikTok and you walk in here with questions like, can I glaze your donut? We cannot keep meeting like this. Every time I open my Instagram DMs, it's somebody sending me a video of Cedric. And I'm like, Cedric seems like a great guy. What a wonderful chef, wow. And then he's fingering something. You know, I watch these videos and I forget they're about cooking. Honestly, like, I, I just, I don't realize they're about cooking. And then the, the dish is done. And I'm like, wait, wait, no, there was a dish. Wait a minute, that was a recipe. A what? A recipe? My guy made a recipe for a fruit, fruit bowl. Just so he can like finger some fruit. Hey, do you want the recipe for my fruit bowl? Just cut the fruit and put it in a bowl. <laughs> this is Cedric Lorenzen. The, damn, the name, man. Damn, Cedric Lorenzen. You know, people with a name like that, they, they should always just introduce themselves. First name, last name, you know, like, hey, I'm Cedric Lorenzen. You know, I feel like when you have a name like this, that's just customary. Like it's, it's so suave. Like imagine James Bond saying, Hey, I'm James. James? It's James Bond. I think I'm about to bond with you, James. You know? It's just a different vibe. Do you have the kind of name that's gotta be said in like one go? Or are you more of a first name only person? <laughs> Listen, if you're just a first name person, all you gotta do is just take the first initial of your last name and just make it a name. So if your name is Rebal, and the first initial of your last name is D, Rival D. There we go. This rolls off better. It gives you more of a suave vibe. I know, I'm anything but suave. I don't know where the f Okay. But let me know guys, has Cedric Lorenzen landed on your For You page? I'm sure he did. And you did a lot more than just watch. You baked, obviously. You followed the recipe, sicko. You've been single too long, that's what it is. You should call him. You should call her. But that was pretty much it, guys. Um, if you've seen anything small and furry moving around while I was talking, that would have been uh, my cats. I'm back in Spain now, and my cats are here vibing in the living room. <laughs> and they're, they're a lot. They're four. This is not the biggest living room, so they must have made an appearance or two. Otherwise, they just don't like you. That's okay. They need time to grow on you. I mean, you need time to grow on them. Yeah. That's how cats are. But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. I'm gonna go now. Bye.